Hey y'all, so good morning. This is your girl Reagan Adams with All Things Reagan. I'm going to be talking fast because I'm in a super hurry. Um, listen, I was supposed to come to y'all yesterday morning and talk about this and I didn't because my weekend has been busy with myself and my child and I'm still doing Uber for her today because she's got stuff to do. Uh, so I'm, but I'm excited about it. But we'll talk about that later. So anyway, I had a situation happen to me the other night and that's why I wanted to come on here and talk to y'all about it. Uh, so just a little side story about me. One of the things that I have gotten throughout the years that typically I don't like to hear about myself is that I'm bougie. Now, when I look at my pocketbook and I look at like different things, I don't think so. Now, do I like nice things? Yes. Uh, but I don't like to pay a lot of money for it either. Now, I, for for me, I have some bougie friends. They like to stay in the name brand, so I don't have to have all that, right? But when I think of bougie, I always thought like it was somebody that was kind of, you know, like go on and like they're better than somebody. That That's always what I thought. That's how I felt. And I would always get this from people who don't even know me. Like, I would hear what some people would think of me, and I'd be like, yeah, you know, you just carry yourself a certain way, and you present a certain way, and all this stuff. And while that's great, you want to present well. God spoke to me about presenting well, you know, because you're better received when you present well, so yes. Uh, but when I heard the word bougie, something about that just never sat right with me, right? Uh, and I was, let me see how I can tell this story. Um, I was talking to somebody and, oh, let me back the story up. So I, my, one of my friends came in town with, uh, her husband and her, some people. And so we went to have dinner. Now this was a young lady that I had never met before. I don't know her. And she just came to dinner. And so this was kind of like my first time, like even meeting her. And we were having a conversation about whatever. And I say, you know, and it came up and I say, you know, some people think, I am bougie or I'm, you know, and she said, yeah, I can see that. Mind you, this girl had not even been sitting in my presence for five, 10 minutes. Like, like she just let, really got my name. And I was like, like what? Like, I wish I could step outside of myself and see what the heck these people are talking about. Because to me, like, I think I'm super cool. I think I'm super down to earth. I try to treat everybody well. And so in my mind, again, I'm thinking bougie. Like, it's a bad thing. I don't. Like, I like it, but I don't like it. Because I'll go to the hole in a while. I'll, as long as the food is good, cool. Now, the um, hotels, I'm, don't play with me with my hotel. Do not play with me with my hotel. Like, I'm kind of bougie on a budget when it comes to stuff like that. But when it comes to hotel, like, I don't mess around. Right? All right. And so fast forward, I was talking to somebody. And this guy, he would always make mention of me doing certain things. And to me, they were very basic. Now, I understand everybody doesn't have the same experiences, right? But to me, they were very basic things, right? And so, well, what you doing today? Oh, everybody can't do that or everybody. And it was always, it almost like made me feel like, dang, am I not supposed to do this? You know what I'm saying? And, um... It was one of the things I just didn't like. And then I found myself almost like trying to downplay myself, right? Like, it's not like that. Like, I don't have, every, like, I have what I need, but I don't have everything I want at this point. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm striving to get there, but like everybody else. And even though I present well, I keep telling y'all, like, you got to take social media with a grain of salt. Yeah, I go to some places, but it ain't all that. You know what I'm saying? And I still got to get, get out and work every day and do, you know, whatever I got to do to make sure I got money and pay my bills right. So I'm not in this place of just lap of luxury where I just got it all. You know what I'm saying? It's coming. It's on the way to me right now. Uh, but it's not there yet, right? And But, you know, and they are working class as well. So I'm like... Every time he said something, it was like, well, everybody can't afford to go to State 48 if it's not a special occasion. Well, to me, special occasion is your life. You're alive. Well, we got to wait for an anniversary to go to State 48 or go to, you know what I'm saying? One of my favorite places is Waffle House. But we don't have to wait for a special occasion to go somewhere. Like you are breathing your life. If you want to go to whatever restaurants, if you want to go to different places, um, 
there's nowhere that can kick me out of anywhere. Like I belong wherever my wherever my foot treads upon. That's what my word says. I can go wherever I want to go, right? And so I kept feeling like he was making me feel like the things that I wanted to achieve in my life and the, the areas that I was trying to go in was bad. And I kept saying, oh, he's not for me. Like, I, because I'm not, I've been in friendships and relationships where I have completely dumbed myself down. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm like, I told y'all, God has been dealing with me and others about the confidence of God. And so you find out who he has made you. Once you find that out and you, you get a good sense of who you are, listen, can't nobody take that away from you. And you don't need to ever let anybody make you feel bad for how you out here moving in the street. And I didn't come over 14 hours away from my house to live a less than normal life. I don't want it. I don't want it for myself and I don't want it for my daughter. And any man that I choose to be with has got to want me to elevate in that. And even my friendships. Like if you on a lower mental capacity of a friendship that doesn't want more in life, and they don't necessarily have to be entrepreneurs because all of my friends are entrepreneurs. But I'm just talking about wanting more, wanting to do more, wanting knowledge. I don't want it. You're in the way because I, because of how my friendships and how I'm set up, like I got to be able to bounce off of you. And you need to be able to bounce off of me when you're not feeling well. You know what I'm saying? Or, or feeling in a low place. So you need some encouragement, right? So I don't want to date anybody like that. I don't want to be friends. I like I like in my circle, my my close circle, I don't want it. And so I felt like every time he said something, it was like, mm, I, everybody ain't able. Everybody can't do that. Oh, rich pockets. I don't like that. I don't like that. And we ain't going to make it. I don't like it. And we ain't going to make it because you're trying to make me feel bad. So fast forward. I quit talking to the person. Matter of fact, I blocked them. So they can't see this unless they opened up another account. And that's another story because we're going to talk about that too. So I blocked them on social media. I blocked them on my cell, both of my cell phones, right? Uh, then they text, this is almost a week ago. Then they text me the other night. Why did you block me? I don't understand, blah, blah, blah. So I explained what they did because maybe they didn't know. You know what I'm saying? But to me, I'm like, you knew. Blocked them, but I was like, let me give them, give them a benefit of doubt. Let me tell them what happened. Told them they completely disregarded what I said. Did not take any accountability. I was being nice too. No accountability. Did not understand what I was saying. Called what I said stupid. Then started name calling. But let me tell you what he called me. Oh, you uh, uppity wannabe um, rich and uh, you do you um. You give advice, don't know how to take it. Like what we were talking about had absolutely nothing to do with me giving advice and coaching. Like nothing. And so that's what Satan does. And this is where I'm 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 rolling all this back to y'all, right? So I know, I know when I start getting attacked and I start getting accused, it is Satan himself trying to accuse me because he is the accuser of the brethren, right? And he's trying to make me feel bad. I have done so much work in the past two weeks on my life in general, uh, just switching the way I move, switching the way I'm doing business, you know, doing all these different things that I don't even talk to y'all about. I'm moving around. You understand? And the enemy is upset. I'm helping to impact lives and the enemy is upset. And so that is what he will try to do. Come and accuse you, try to make you feel like you're less than, like you, what you doing, uh, is, is not significant. Let me be very clear when I say this. No person can tell me the lane that I'm functioning in. I'm not making a difference. And it's not because of me. It is because of Jesus. It is because of the God that lives inside of me. I'm not special, but he made me special. So I'm confident in who he made me and who he has called me to be. Matter of fact, nobody would be, and I tell this in my in my coaching, uh, my coaching groups or one-on-ones. If you did not feel like I had any fruit, if you did not feel like I was at some kind of level of confidence or moving around, you wouldn't pay me to even talk to you. You wouldn't even follow me. 
And it's not because, again, of me. Take me out of it. It is the God in me. It is who I serve. And I'm telling you, if he can do it for me, he will do it for you. That is my whole message. And that he wants you to live an abundant life. And don't let anybody talk you down from that. If people, And that's why I'm saying in this season, you have to be very careful who you share stuff with. You have to be very careful because people don't move like you. Everybody, Like God has not called you to what they've been called to. Right? They haven't been called. And so how can you share something with somebody who has not been called to what you have been called to? And more than likely, you have the blueprint. So you're not going to be able to ask everybody anyway because they're not going to understand. They're going to tell you, oh, well, you don't need to do that. You need to go sit down and rest. No, well, God telling me to go right now, not necessarily rest or push in the rest or, uh, or schedule the rest when I can. But God is telling me I need to go. Or God has sent me this person to tell me to do X, Y, Z. And the other person's like, well, no, I don't think it's not for them. And so I just wanted to tell you, you are who they said you are. So I'm bougie. If that's what you think, I'm bougie. You are who they said you are. But you are also who God said you are and who hell is nervous about. Do you think the enemy wants you to come out here and impact anybody? No. They, he does not. He does not. He does not. But guess what? We're going to do it anyway. We're going to push through anyway. We're going to gain our confidence anyway. So I'm excited about it. I got to go. I've spoken to you guys longer than I need to. But I just wanted, I said all of that to say, don't let anybody make you feel less than for who God has called you to be. And excuse me, and I want you to maintain your confidence maintain your confidence if you don't have confidence in yourself get into his word and he gonna tell you he gonna tell you and then start working that thing out start working that muscle of who you are start working it that's what i do when i do these videos i'm working my muscle i'm working my muscle i'm working my muscle right and then he's gonna bless it every time i do it and so i just wanted to encourage you this morning don't let anybody get you off your square you are who they think you are you are who god said you are and you are who hell is nervous about put on your seat belt it's go time this is your girl reagan adams with all things reagan and reagan says i think it i see it i do it and you should too bye